What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today I've decided to take a journey and go back to Europe. So this video is going to be basically what kind of homes I would love to buy to live in in Portugal. So this video is going to show images and actual listings that are on a website. I'll link everything down below so you guys can check them all out. Uh, this is hypothetical, of course. We're not moving anywhere, but I do daydream a lot. Um, I daydream about a lot of houses here in Toronto, Etobicoke, in our area. I'm always thinking about like what could the next step be? What should we look forward to? Especially now when everything's up in the air, it's nice to just put yourself out there and just think about other things other than what is actually going on because sometimes that can be really depressing or it can put you down. That's why I decided to make this video because I just keep daydreaming. I'm a daydreamer. So going with my El Naturel look in my wife beater and black jogging pants today at home, I think we're all like this, sitting on our couches. I'm in my bedroom. It's not made, because we're home, who cares? I have Raph working at home, so I had to hide one of my dining chairs because it doesn't fit in there anymore with all of the boxes of his work. So this is where we're at right now, everybody. I am breaking it up into sections. Houses that we can afford right now that go up to 450, 450,000 euros. And then I broke it up into houses that one day we could afford, hopefully, God willing, um, basically 450 to a million. Yes, we're really stretching it, the dreams here. <laughs> and then obviously like the million plus, just cause it's fun to look at. There are so many beautiful homes in Portugal, so much land that really just needs cultivating, things like that. So let's start off with the first section of homes, basically the ones that we can move into right now. Okay, sorry if you hear other noises. I have Sophia in the other room watching Aladdin and I'm trying to get her to nap, which I think might be working. I think that might be working, so I'm watching her. Our first property is in Alfezerão Alcobaço. This property is actually minutes from San Martín do Porto. There's a beautiful beach there and 20 minutes from Nazaré. And I love Nazaré. This property is basically a 100% fixer-upper. There is so much to do, but I just fell in love with the photos that were taken here. It reminds me of a movie called A Good Year. And it's just so pretty with the doorknobs and how it looks but this has so much work to do. And with a price point like this, I can definitely see us tackling this and making it into our own beautiful little area with land and I would put in a pool and so much more.
this next property is a newly built area. It's a semi-detached property in the uh, Lydia area. It has multiple floors. It has all the amenities, the microwave, dishwasher, fridge, washing machine, central heating, solar panels, everything you need, a four car garage, patio, and a barbecue that comes with the patio and an awning. If that's not enough for you, then I don't know what is. At a great price point, there's just so much here for you.
this property here is actually in the Obidouge area where the castle is. It's not far from it. This home has three bedrooms and bathrooms, so it has like en suites. The bathrooms do need updating. They're not quite to my liking. As you can probably see, they're outdated. Kitchen needs a little bit of, you know, functionality, moving around things but at least you have the outdoor space. You have a pool. I probably want to put a fence or something, some kind of security measure, because if you have little ones, you want to make sure they're safe. The outdoor kitchen is basically the selling point here. You can see on the floor plan as well. This house here is in Alcubasu. It has a more outdated look, but the amount of light that comes in is amazing. It has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a great space for cars, a great outdoor space, amazing pool with views, and just so much land around you that you can really cultivate and make it your own. This is definitely a good buy. Here's another new build. It's straight off from the builder and you're able to make it your own, which I love. There's so much light coming in everywhere. You have to check out the actual listing for it in order to get all the best images, which I couldn't get. So guys, check out the link down below. Another new build. I know, I know, it's really contemporary, but it has a lot of amenities. It's also near and part of a golf course and has access to tennis courts and other cool things around it. It is not far from town. It is in Obidouge again, and it's really close to the beach. On to our next level homes. These are homes that we will eventually get to in our lifetime. This first one here actually has separate little apartments within it. So each one is equipped with its own mini, mini kitchen and washroom, which is amazing if you have guests coming over, people wanna stay over, or you can also make it part of a rental. So you can actually rent out a few of the spaces or make them into Airbnbs. The selling point here is definitely the outdoor space. Amazing views and amazing poolside. This property again has a pool. It's been modified. There's some areas that could use some work, but it is amazing. It's located in Mizera. It's only 10 minutes from the beach. It has two floors and both floors are equipped with kitchen, washrooms, and living spaces. So if you need, you have a lot of room for another family to come in. This property has a great curbside appeal. It really reminds me of my grandparents' house there that are not too far. And there's a pool in the back. There's enough room for people to come over. Washrooms need to be updated and the kitchen, but those are the least of the con
now for our extravagant homes. This home is 2,700,000 euros. But just take a look at these photos. Check the link down below. This is just a snippet of what they have to offer. The views, the light, the amount of light that comes in for this home is amazing. I just wish I was a millionaire at this point so I can have this kitchen. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. And every bedroom has its own ensuite. How incredible is that? Walk-in closets, everything. Here's a home that the photos do not do it justice. It has an indoor swimming pool, mirror of water, a sauna, cloak room, beautiful kitchen, beautiful living and dining room. And within each suite, it also has a walk-in closet and washrooms for each room. If that isn't luxury millionaire status i don't know what is until the next one this last house it definitely grants its price tag check the link down below to get a better look but this is something that i would rent out from movies Please don't mind the face again thank you so much for watching subscribe and i'll see you in the next one later youtube